right, so we've made it to the vacuum distillation. Look what got here in the mail from what was lost. So, of course, when the next one gets here, I'm going to have to send that back. Um, so, I'm going to have to change locations, um, just borrowing garage space from a family member just because this guy is way too loud. Um, I started making like a sound a sound box and everything for it, but then you have the heat issue um, and it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit out here today, so quite cold. Um, so the garage should help cool things down once we uh, you know, bring them over. So that's the goal for today, is to successfully vacuum distill this and you know we'll see we'll see what happens um, I'm not entirely sure what to expect I've prepared as much as I possibly could it's time to just send it just send it be sure to like and subscribe to follow along and let's get into it So we've got our first fraction here, which appears to be mostly toluene. Seems to be boiling right around that temperature. 110, 111. Okay, we've got fraction two. About to hit 111. We've gone past 111. One thirteen. Check it out. I know my oxygens are on the side, but don't have a lot of room to make them with uh, <laughs> a sharpie. So, but that was uh, extremely challenging and very very fun. So this this pump doesn't it's not automatic or anything. Uh, it doesn't control the pressure. I can just see the pressure here. Uh, my heating mantle, you know, it, it gets hot. That's that's about it. Um, you can adjust it, but you don't know exactly what temperature you're at. So uh, I'm sorry I didn't get a lot of footage of it, but basically most of the time I had you know two hands on one hand on the off button here and the other hand on the uh, heating mantle just to get everything controlled and we did have uh, there's probably a term for it but I'm just gonna make one up uh, a vacuum explosion so I had to restart basically it pulled way too much vacuum and the whole thing just shot across the apparatus and into the receiving flask so that had happened after I took off the volatile fraction um, and then ominously it went pretty well after that. Um, it, it was very difficult to control but you know, we got it done and we got 98 grams here which is incredible because the 
acid resin, the really expensive acid resin that they use in the paper gets them a 90% yield. And we got 85% with this. 85% yield. So in our next video we'll be making some bromine and we already have the dioxane made. So that should be it for the next step and then we'll keep trucking on through this and, and get it done. I did have a minor vacuum leak here somewhere so I'm going to have to address that and then also I had minor leaks in in my joints so I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, but other than that it, it went okay. It was very rocky but we got it done. So be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you see and we'll see you guys later.